How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a walk around video of this 2021 Can-Am Defender Pro XT. So as with any XT, you are going to get a few things standard. One being the uh, XT front bumper. You're also going to get the 4,500 pound cable winch. It is going to come standard with the top as well. The Defender Pro is an HD10 engine. So you do have the 82 horsepower and all the 10s do come with the arched A arms. So a little bit more clearance out of these machines as well. So the Pros do come with a full six foot bed on them. The rails are removable, so you can actually make a flat bed out of it, which is pretty cool. And then the, uh, the difference between this and the six by six, other than the other axle, obviously, is that the Pro comes with the extra storage. So right here, if we open this up, you'll see that there is weather resistant storage in there. Um, it's not completely waterproof, obviously, but it is pretty dust proof and everything. It does have a gasket and everything on it. Um, so you do have a pretty nice place to store some tools and recovery gear or whatever you wanna haul down there. It's a pretty nice place that, that isn't gonna get super nasty with dust and mud and water and everything. Again, right here you can see this is where those rails will come off to make a flatbed. This bed is pretty massive. You can actually haul a full-size ATV in it, which is pretty neat. Of course, you are gonna get the two-inch hitch receiver on this model, as with any Defender model, that's a standard feature. Uh, with this 1000 engine, you can tow up to 2,500 pounds. Another thing that the XTs have that a regular DPS doesn't is this machine has a skid plate under all of it. Uh, DPS is just get it basically underneath the, the raised part there, kind of protecting the drive line. The XTs does have a skid plate all over the belly and the floor and everything there. XTs are going to come with the removable storage box here. This is waterproof storage. It is sealed up and everything, so you're going to get that with an XT. My favorite thing about a 21 model machine as far as XTs and above go is the seats. So used to you'd have the same kind of material but it would be still kind of flat so they did these bolstered sides and man they are really comfortable uh, but a lot more comfortable than any xt model has ever been so that's a really nice upgrade that you're going to get on these machines xt model machines also have the lid right here in front of the steering wheel with a usb charger inside of there and while we're talking about what features an xt comes with the others don't is you do get a standard painted plastic on these models. So this is the new Oxford Blue, which looks really, really good. It does have a lot of metallic in it. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. A lot of metallic, looks really nice in the sunlight for sure. Um, but painted plastic is standard on an XT. Of course, on the regular models, you do have a painted bed, but with this bed here, it's not gonna be painted um, because you do have that heavy duty bed there, but, but you do get the painted plastic on the front for sure. And then the last thing, um, that you're gonna get on an XT that you're not on other models is right here. You do have the parking brake on this machine, so you have parked in the transmission, but you also have a regular stop parking brake, which is a pretty nice feature that takes away from a lot of stress on your machine. So these machines do have an unlockable rear differential, so essentially it's one-wheel drive right now, and then you can click that to lock in your rear diff, and then you have a true two-wheel drive and that locks it into four-wheel drive, which is a three-wheel drive limited slip system. So when one front tire spins, it's gonna lock up your front diff and all four will pull. You do have selectable drive modes there. So you've got work mode, eco mode, and eco off, which essentially changes the, the sensitivity of the throttle, also changes the torque curve or the motor just a little bit. Menu will just toggle through your RPMs, um, engine temperature, battery voltage, and everything on your gauges trip will toggle through engine hours, trip hours, odometer, and all that. Um, but the biggest thing is right here. Obviously your light switch, winch switch, but right here. So people have asked about it for quite a while, but they finally have done a power dump bed. So I'll show you how that works right now. We'll turn the key on and up is up. So we'll click that. So you can see there, bed raises up on its own. Of course, you can stop it anywhere you want there, but if you just hold it down, it will dump. See there, it's got a pretty nice looking cylinder. 
pretty heavy duty looking system they've got in this. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the biggest upgrade in, in my mind from a 20 to a 21 model. Show you a shot of it there. So honestly, the difference in price from a 20 to a 21 wasn't that drastic of an increase. So the fact that you're basically getting the same machine with the addition of a power dump bed is kind of nice, honestly. I mean, I think that for what you're paying for it, it's, it's gonna be a heck of a nice machine. To lower it, we're just gonna hold down the bottom and it's gonna start dropping. Pretty nice system. Not very loud at all. You really can't hear it at all when the machine's running either. So it'll hold down and it's gonna lock in right there. You see it drop that last little bit that's locking around the, the front end to keep everything nice and tight. So yeah, there you have it. That is uh, what's different, at least on the 21 models. So the biggest upgrades, biggest being the power dump bed. Um, in my mind though, those seats are also a huge upgrade. So a lot of reason to buy a 21 model machine. Obviously we do have this one in stock here. So if you're interested in it, you can give us a call here at Cave Run Motorsports. His phone number is gonna be 606-784-2300. My name's Wes, I'll be sure to give you a good deal on this machine. Um, let me know in the comment section what machines you might want to see walk around videos on or if you have any questions on this one that, that I may not have went over, uh, you can drop them in the comments and I'll try to get those answered as quick as possible. Until next time, y'all have a good one.